Hello, this is part three of my video series on building a Visby style uh, coat of plates for armored combat. Um, last time I'd gone over some of the final fitting uh, just with the tarp that I used as a base. Um, since then, I have uh, purchased some. This is Cordura. It's like uh, like a duck canvas type material. Um, ideally, I probably should have used something more like used that for the inside backing rather than the than the tarp and used like a wool base to make it look more historically authentic. But it does it doesn't look too bad, I don't think. And it's definitely a tough material that will stand up to uh, lots of beatings. Um, the steel that I chose for this one, because this is going to be a um, just for duels, I've gone with the minimum thickness for hardened steel, uh, which is 0 0.6 millimeters, or uh, I think it's 0.25 inches or something. 0 0.025 inches yeah point zero two five inches and it's 4130 steel from aircraft spruce here in Canada um, I purchased a, uh, a sheet of metal that was 18 inches wide and 72 inches long and after cutting out all of these plates this is what I have left. So pretty much an entire sheet of 18 by 72. Um, I will say that uh, adding this all together, it's a very, very light. Um, I weighed myself with all of it and it was just around, um, with, the, with the shell and everything, it's just around 10 pounds, which is very light. Um, I'm a pretty average size guy, about 185 to 190 pounds, uh, five foot ten. So, yeah, um, I just cut this because it's such a thin gauge of sheet metal. I was able to get away with just using regular tin snips. Um, I left about between an eighth of an inch and a quarter inch for overlap. I'm also debating, uh, historically, these side plates would be like they are now. They'd be solid lengths, but I'm worried about the mobility issues that might cause. So I'm thinking I might at least cut them in half and uh, you won't be able to tell from the outside the way it's riveted you won't be able to tell that it's not a solid piece but it'll give me just a little bit of side to side mobility that I wouldn't have otherwise um, so yeah the next step to this will be to clean up all the edges obviously because they're still sharp and uh, I'm gonna pre-drill all the holes before I harden the steel then I'm gonna well I'm gonna also form them to the belly plates around my body and dish these out a little bit so that they follow my chest and back um, I've left a little bit of extra fabric here and here I don't think I will need extra plates here because this is a lot wider than I am but if ever I decide to give away or to sell this brig to somebody larger it would be easy enough to just add more plates to make it fit all the way around and be protected. Um, so yeah. So next step is forming the plates, trimming the edges, drilling the holes, heat treating the plates, and then we get to the fun part of riveting, riveting it and 
putting on all the bucklers and buckles and fasteners and all of that. So yeah, if you're attempting a project like this, I hope this is helpful to you to know, um, you know, roughly how much material you might need and what a, what a plate layout will look like.